Hi, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be reading a Valentine's Day book. And our Valentine's Day book, the title is The Day It Rained Hearts. Rained hearts? Hmm. Have you ever seen it rain hearts outside? I have not. This sounds like it might be a good book to read. And our book was written by Felicia Bond. All right, I will be providing aided language input today on the SnapCore First Word Wall Poster from Toby Dynabox. And the word that I'll be providing the most repeated aided language input for will be she. But I'll also provide aided language input as we read the book for some other words too that come along. All right, let's go ahead and let's open our book and we'll get reading. The day it rained hearts. We see a picture outside. I do not see any hearts though coming down yet. And it has our title again. The Day It Rained Hearts by our author, Felicia Bond. Oh, there's a little heart. One day, it started raining hearts. <gasps> hmm. I wonder why it's raining hearts. And Cornelia Augusta caught one. <gasps> that means that she got it in her hand. She caught it. And then she caught another. <gasps> that is so cool. And another. It wasn't very hard. So she caught some more. Look, she's holding out her jacket so that she can catch even more hearts. Wow. It must be getting close to Valentine's Day, she thought. And she, she sat to work making Valentine's. The hearts that she caught would make perfect cards. Sometimes I like to make Valentine's Day cards in the shape of a heart too. Cornelia Augusta saw that all of her hearts were different. Look. She looked at each one from the front, from the back, and from the side and decided which ones would be just right for each of her friends. That is kind of cool because if you think about it, all of us are different. We're all unique and special in some way. And the hearts were all different and unique and special in their own way too. So she could decide which heart kind of met each friend and was gonna be good for them. She found seven that were more or less alike and she strung them together with a needle and thread. I know just the right person for this one, she thought. Then Cornelia Augusta took an especially handsome heart. Ooh, that means really good looking. And she pasted it which means glued it onto a piece of paper. So see already 
She's making the different Valentines for her different friends. In the center of the heart, she glued a cotton ball. One that was very white and very soft. And she knew instantly who this card would be for. Cornelia Augusta had eight hearts left. On the largest one, she drew circles and then very carefully cut them out. Hmm. I wonder what she's going to make it look like. The other hearts were so small. She arranged all of them on one piece of paper. Around the hearts, she painted patterns of many colors. And then she folded her design in half. Hmm, that looks interesting. There was no doubt in her mind who would receive these. Hmm, I wonder who is going to get them. Cornelia Augusta put a stamp on each of her valentines. That's what we have to do with our letters, right? To get them to mail off uh, to the other person, we have to put to it who it's to. We have to put a stamp on it. And then we also have to put our address just in case it gets lost or the mailman can't find that address. And then look, she went and she mailed them. She put them in the mailbox. <gasps> this is exciting. It never rained hearts again. Not where Cornelia Augusta lived anyway. Oh, let's see here. So if we look at the pictures, one of her friends, it looks like, was a dog and he got the hearts that she had sewn together with the needle and thread in a circle. He is who got that Valentine. And over here is a mouse. And she, remember, she made holes in that heart. Do you know what it looks like? I think it looks like cheese because mice really like to eat cheese. So she gave him a valentine that looks like cheese. <gasps> but it didn't matter because the next year, first before we turn the page, let's look, a turtle. She made the valentine that she folded in half looked like a turtle by the water, just like her turtle friend. <gasps> and her last friend that got a valentine was Rabbit. Remember she put that white soft cotton ball on the valentine? Just like Rabbit has a white soft tail. She really did think about each of her Valentines and her friends and what she should make them look like, didn't she? I think she did a really good job. And the next and all of the years after that, Cornelia Augusta Oops, I'm having trouble. There we go. Found other ways to make Valentines. Do you see what's different in this picture? So instead of raining hearts, 
the hearts are growing on the tree. Hmm. That was a really good story. And that's the end of our story. The Day It Rained Hearts. I hoped you liked reading that story with me. And now I think you should think about the friends or the family that you want to give Valentine's to and be like Cornelia and how she made them special for each one. Maybe you could do that. Maybe you could go make special ones for the people that you love or really like in your life. All right. Thank you so much for reading with me today. Uh, if you would like to check out other videos where I read books, demonstrate some shared reading strategies, provide aided language input using different core vocabulary systems, um, check out my playlist over here. And if you haven't already, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.